What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome to another top 10 tweak video. Actually there's a couple of uh, themes in here but they work in conjunction with the tweak uh, that they're associated with so I'm going to be considering those uh, just one tweak each but um, yeah, like I said I'll be recording my top 10 videos in this fashion with the Nikon as you guys probably have noticed immediately instead of doing the screen capturing um, but as I mentioned screen capturing just works really good for doing a single tweak videos it's just much more practical to do a, you know a one to two minute video uh in that fashion instead of using you know uh this actual camera but like i said all of the top 10s that i do are top 20s or top 30s um even the app videos whatever it might be i will be using this camera especially with you know unboxings and stuff like that uh but anyways again this is gonna be the top 10 tweaks let's go ahead and let's jump into this so the first tweak i got for you guys is called custom cover uh this is a really cool tweak allowing you to theme your uh, basically your album artwork on your lock screen as you guys can see the theme I'm using is called ripped there's a few others to choose from like circle there's a CD there's vinyl um, there's like a small square you can choose which is kind of like default but much smaller uh, also you can reposition the album artwork which I really like because I actually lowered mine down a bit I think it looks a little bit you know more symmetrical being a little bit lower on the lock screen uh, also as you can see it uses the album artwork as the wallpaper and then adds a really nice blur effect to it so definitely a really cool tweak again it's called custom cover the next tweak i got for you guys is called boot sound now going off of just the you know the way the name sounds you would think that this adds a sound for when you reboot your device which it does but it also will do the sound when you respring your device as well which i really like because i respring my device all the time with how many tweaks i try out on a daily basis but uh yeah there's a few options here within the settings first off you have you're on silent mode, I don't like having that on. You have play early, uh, and then you can also adjust uh, the volume right here with this slider. But that's not the best part. The best part is the actual sounds that you get to choose from. I believe there's other you know, uh, add-ons that you can get with this with Insidia, but I just like the Mac OS sound. So if I go ahead and play this. Let me uh, turn my volume up first, I guess that might kind of help. So here's the Mac OS. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with that. I like that's usually the one I like to use because I do have a Mac. Even Ubuntu is really cool too. I might switch in between the Mac and the Ubuntu. They're both really nice. I don't really care for Vista. And then also Windows XP. So I'm actually gonna switch it back to Ubuntu. And I'm going to go ahead and respring my device so you guys can see that it does work on a respring. So there you go. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, again, that's called boot sound. Next, we have a theme and a tweak combo. I'm considering this one just because the theme is a part of the tweak. So... Uh, first off, the tweak is called Classic Dock. As you guys can see, this dock looks a lot different than the normal iOS 7 dock, and I really like the way it looks. Um, but Classic Dock basically just brings back the dock. I believe it was from iOS 6, uh, and the theme that I used with this is called OSX Dock, which is basically uh, the dock found on the Mac, and I really like the way it looks. And actually, if we open up an application here and let it start multitasking, as you can see, you also have the option to have... Uh, running indicator lights on there as well, which really matches the Mac dock really really good It looks just like it. It's really good um, And there's also a lot of other you know add-on themes for this tweak And that's why I wanted to cover it uh, in this video just because you know There's a lot of options with classic dock, but that's basically all it is and I really like the way it looks again It's classic dock and it's OSX dock the next tweak I got for you guys has been out for a while but it's recently been updated to work with another tweak that I'm going to have featured in this video later on uh, and this tweak is CC toggles so if we open up our normal this would normally be uh, control center but as you can see with this tweak it combines your switcher and control center but what CC toggles is is basically uh, you know it gives you the option to add new toggles to control center as you guys can see I have respring uh, also you have reboot and uh, you can actually add more toggles to this you can you can change the uh, you know um, the layout of basically the toggles or the um, what's the word I want to use for that uh, the you can basically rearrange them to any way like I moved airplane 
all the way to the left next to Wi-Fi. And we got Respring Bluetooth and then a setting shortcut right there. So uh, it's really cool that it allows you to add, you know, just a ton of different toggles and rearrange them. And then also, if we open up our quick launches at the bottom, uh, as you can see, you have your normal flashlight, camera, calculator, uh, and there's actually another shortcut for settings. But if I swipe to the right, as you can see, I added Instagram, Cydia, Spotify, and Messages. So definitely a, a really nice tweak to have on your device. Again, that's called CC Toggles. Next, we have a no-brainer tweak. I'm sure you guys noticed it when I turned my volume up, and that's called Status HUD 2. I hate how on iOS 7 or even on iOS 6, um, when you turn your volume up, it actually uh, you know, has that really annoying HUD right in the middle of your screen blocking basically anything that you're doing. Well, Status HUD 2 moves that up into your status bar. As you guys can see, if I turn my volume up here or turn it down, as you can see, it just puts it up in the status bar. I think it's a really, really nice tweak. It'll actually take you, um, you know, probably like a day or two to get used to because it's just like, uh, it, it's it's so much different than having that annoying HUD come up when it's just a couple, you know, the dots up in the status bar. Uh, but one thing I really like about that tweak is if you're watching like for say a video or like a YouTube video, when you actually turn your volume up or down, it actually pull down the entire status bar and it'll have like a nice blur effect and you can actually check your battery percentage that way instead of like actually like uh, I'm not sure you have to actually exit the video to see your status bar uh, within YouTube at least so it's just really nice being able to if you want to just check your you know your battery life on your device you can just turn the volume up and it'll it'll pop down on the very top of the video very uh, unobtrusive uh, just a really nice tweak again that's called status HUD 2 next is another theme and tweak combo and I absolutely love uh, this lock screen theme. I think it looks really, really good. So first off, the tweak is called Groovy Lock. And then the theme that I'm using with that is called Grand. It might be Grand LS. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'll leave it listed down in the description, the exact name, because there's actually a, a few different, you know, Grand themes to get in there, each 99 cents. So I'll leave the name of the exact one I'm using. Uh, and the thing that's cool about this theme is you can actually choose it to be like black like how I have it I think the black looks really good obviously with the with the black iPhone but if you have the white iPhone you can actually uh, have this all in white or you can have it you know be a bit transparent even with the black you could have it be you know like uh, more transparent looking which you know depending on what wallpaper you're using uh, will vary in look obviously if you have a really dark wallpaper on you might want to switch it to the white or it to be the white you know that's semi transparent but I just think it's a really awesome looking lock screen it's bold it's easy to see and it just looks good on the lock screen, I think. But anyways, again, this the tweak is called Groovy Lock and the theme is called Grand. Next, we have the Swiss Army Knife of iOS 7. I have not covered this yet uh, and it's definitely worthy of being in a top 10 tweak video. So if we go ahead and go into my City apps here, uh, and it's actually, it has its own application. You can actually get to the settings, obviously, within the settings app. But if we go ahead and open up Spring to My Street, this is just hands down you can do more things with this tweak than any other tweak in Cydia. I'm pretty sure it just allows you to do almost, you know, anything you can. I'm not even going to go through all the stuff because I could spend easily 10 to 15 minutes, uh, you know, demonstrating this tweak. But uh, you can adjust the animations. You can change the speed. Uh, you can have lock animations, which is really cool. Like you can have like old TV tube and stuff like that. Uh, you can have, it even comes with its own like barrel uh, you know scrolling animations for your icons which is pretty neat um, you can resize your icons you can change the layout of your icons uh, you can change your dock you can have more than four icons there um, you can change the folders the status bar actually with the status bar I like to have almost everything hidden except for battery image battery percent carrier network type uh, signal strength and time otherwise I keep everything else hidden uh, just because I don't know I just don't care like I don't need to see that airplay is on because I know that I, I usually know when it's on or if my alarm is on you know I don't need an icon for that I usually know if I have an alarm turned on or not but uh, yeah it's another thing you can do uh, you can also you know adjust the pages the lock screen I actually use this to hide um, you know my normal lock screen time and date to work with the the grand theme so that's I use this tweak to do that uh, it's just there's a, t a ton of different stuff you can do with this tweak it's basically like 20 different tweaks 
all rolled into one tweak. It is a paid tweak, but it's definitely worthy of being on your device. Again, it's called Spring Tomize 3. Next, we got the Barrel Killer. For those of you that are familiar with the tweak barrel, uh, this is called Cylinder, and it is free. That's why it's so awesome. Uh, it's basically animated page scrolling effects. As you guys can see, as I change page there, it does its own animation. And actually, this is a custom animation that I came up with. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the settings here real quick. We're going to scroll down until we see Cylinder, which is right here. Uh, so it does come with effects. These are basically uh, the different animations. It does come with, I believe, 45 different animations. Now, the thing that's cool about Cylinder is you can actually combine the animations to come up with your own animation. Uh, so as you guys can see, the animations that I have combined to come up with my custom animation is Spin, Stay Put, and Page Fade. Uh, and then what's cool is you can actually save this animation as a formula and then rename it to be whatever you want. So it's basically your own custom um, animation. That's why this tweak I think is just you know really really awesome. You, you know you can come up with so many different uh, like custom animations that you know nobody else is really gonna have unless they came up with the same combination as you, uh, which the odds of that are probably slim to none. So definitely a really awesome tweak. Again, it's free and it's called Cylinder. So if you're the type that likes to listen to the iTunes radio, this is a tweak for you. It's called iTunes Radio Unlimited, and basically it it, it is what it says. Uh, it's unlimited skips with iTunes Radio, and there's no ads or anything like that. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's uh, turn that down. Uh, so let's go ahead, and as you guys can see, we can basically just skip through as many songs as we want. Uh, you know, hence the name iTunes Radio Unlimited, which I really like. Uh, this makes me want to use iTunes a lot more. Uh, you know, I do have Spotify, but I just like. I don't know, I like the way that iTunes Radio works and the way it looks as well. So this is definitely a must-have tweak on your device. Again, it's called iTunes Radio Unlimited. And the last tweak I got for you guys is definitely my favorite tweak currently. Uh, I use it all the time. I use it every single day. I actually probably use it, you know, probably, you know, actually every time I open up an app, the, you know, when I close the app, I use this tweak, and it's OXO2. Uh, now, there's a few different things with OXO2. I'm not going to, you know, go through all the different settings you can do with it. I'll just give you guys kind of like the core functionality of OXO2. So first off, as you can see, uh, when you normally would open up your control center, it's basically like a hybrid view of control center and your switcher. So it combines both those together, which, you know, it's a little cluttered, but, you know, there's a lot of functionality here, uh, you know, as you can basically go through your multitasking, you can go through your CC toggles, and I totally didn't mean to swipe up on the corner of the screen there, but uh, you have your AirPlay at the top, AirDrop, CC toggles, multitasking applications, uh, media controls, and then you do have you know your your track kind of uh, uh, scrubber right there. But what's cool is if you swipe up again, you can access your quick launches right there as well. So that's really really nice, and I do like that feature. But that's not all that Oxo does. So as you can see, when you open up you know the hybrid kind of view here, like I said, it's kind of cluttered. If you'd rather you know just go through your multitasking applications, you can swipe up on the lower left hand corner here, and you can quickly go through all the apps that you have multitasking extremely fast. And another thing that's cool, like I said, is if I close out of an application, I use OXO too. So if you swipe up from the lower right-hand corner, as you guys can see, you can just close out of an application that way. You don't even have to click onto your home button. So an extremely nice, you know, um, tweak for, if anybody has a broken home button, this is a must have on your device. And it's basically like Zephyr for iOS 7, if you ask me, because this is basically what what Zephyr did for iOS 6 is allowed you to basically just swipe up and close an application, which I really, really like. Again, that's called OXO2. So there you have it, guys. Those are 10 really awesome tweaks, actually tweaks slash a couple of themes. Uh, like I said, I'll leave all of the names of everything that I showed in this video down in the description, so be sure to refer there uh, for more information. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the new channel. Uh, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. For those of you that are probably going to be interested in, you know, the different wallpapers that I do use, uh, I do tweet these out on Twitter. So that's where you can find my wallpapers. And I just, you know, update a lot of stuff, you know, kind of do a lot of, you know, preview stuff on my Instagram like I did earlier, letting you guys know that I was going to have a top 10 tweak video coming out later today. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more top 10 tweak videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.